tasty. Yeah. What am I going to do? I'm making this morning's juice. What am I going to yeah. do? So, in this glass, there is water and vinegar. Yeah. And we just rinse the kale. Rinse the kale. Yeah. yeah. And then put it in the mix. Yeah. A little bit at a time. Yeah, and you can see parts in the glass of uh, stuff. Yeah. Sometimes it is a bit. Is that all the kale? Anything else I gotta do? No, we already washed the other veggie, and what we don't wash, we peel okay. because it's just uh, so what's this? Beet? beetroot, zucchini, cucumber, Chinese strawberries. Yeah, tiny strawberries are in uh, water and oh. bicarb. Yeah, leaving out all the bad stuff. Yeah, uh, bananas, apple. This one is, uh, has to be peeled. Yeah. Carrot, peeled too. This boss. Thank you. No glass out today. Not a lot happening. We've got George, he's put a couple of miles up in front of us. He motors much better than we do. We're doing about, we're doing about five knots, I think, with our little outboard at the moment. Just on cruise speed. City's catching up with Italy. This one looks like it uh, carries motorbikes and stuff. It's got the ramp on the front, pretty fancy. So we walk down the street here looking for a restaurant and we've found a couple of tables and it looks like someone's garage. <laughs> but um, there's a little kitchen area. Here. So they've just dragged Chit away. Show her what they're doing for lunch. We're gonna have more. Cleaning the fish? Yeah, got our big squid. Uh -huh. Really? Big place. Big fish. A lot of fishing boats around, so surely the. Uh, Surely the seafood's fresh. How is it, George? Really good. Good. Mm. All right. Oh yeah. Mm. I don't like a bit of a worry, but the food's awesome.
And then a beautiful sail down the inside here. Oh, George up there behind us. We just drift along. We had a good bit of breeze up around the corner there. And uh, we we're doing happy 12 knots. It's dropped off a little bit now. We're pushing a bit of current. And it's lovely. Flat water and just ghosting along. So nice. Really reminds us a little bit of Panama. Chip was just saying it looks a lot like Panama actually. How you going, Captain? Oh, really good. Good? Yeah. It's paradise. Mangrove paradise. Mangrove paradise. There's a, a shallow water out there, it's a bit of a bar. Come in and beautiful protected little bay in here. Some Thai fishermen over there and we're anchored just up there. What a spot. Come down here to the beach and the sand is really, really fine and really soft. Absolutely magic. And this is the problem. You're in an absolutely pristine, beautiful place like this. And then all along the foreshore, like everywhere, everywhere along the foreshore is just covered with litter. Everywhere. And this isn't just Southeast Asia. This is everywhere. This is, this is affecting every country, every coastline. And you know, it's probably uh, maybe a little bit worse around here, but oh, look at it. It's just everything, everything. And the, you know, you could dig up all of this and under the sand you're going to find more litter. And you're going to find more, you're going to find more back there from when there's storms and surge washing it back into the bush. It's everywhere. We really need to stop producing plastic and packaging. Sad but a lot of this is shoes. There's a, an awful lot of thongs and shoes in here. There's a lot of uh, energy drinks and shampoo and water bottles and that's uh, just awful. There's a 
amazing what we found yesterday. Bits of robe, water bottles, shoes, lighters, toothbrushes, a lot of bottle caps, a lot of energy drinks. And put all the plastic there. And uh, we're really lucky, the guys at the resort that we went to for lunch are really environmentally conscious. Well, as much as we can be, I suppose, in this world that we live in. And uh, they have really good recycling and collection. And every week on a Tuesday, they do a beach cleanup down near their resort. They're, these are one of the favorites that we get here in Thailand. This is a little energy drink. M150. Soda bottle, a little some sort of Thai energy drink, another farm magic, all Thai, got Thai writing on them. This is a water bottle, a half full water bottle. chicken dinner as well. Give us a look. Oh, wow. I think you win. <laughs> I think you win. There's mine.
I'm sitting inside, got the aircon on. Let's take you outside and uh, we'll go out and have a look. What's happening out here? Well, there's something being cooked. Oh, it's Buddha. Preparing um, eggplant uh, rosti salad. Oh, really? Yeah. We're sitting in Kopai Arm, cooking. Super hot day. Solar is cranking in the power. Batteries are charged. There is not a cloud in the sky. Super hot. Better have a look over here. Beyond George. That's right. We got the generator running. It's a catamaran with vast amount of space to have solar and they're running their generator. Yeah. Beautiful quiet anchorage and all you can hear is the generator. Seriously, it is sad. It's sad, in this day and age with this technology that we have, there's no reason anyone should be running generators. Fans, you don't need aircon, you don't need high voltage power on a boat. If you do, run an inverter. Have solar, have lithium, and yeah, it just ran out of petrol. <laughs>